Welcome back to your Daily Grip on God's Word. Today we are going to be in Acts chapter 12. What verse or verses rose up for you? For me, one verse today, verse 5. Here's my G, God's Word. But while Peter was in prison, the church prayed very earnestly for him. Here's my R, my reveal. When others are in need with a sickness, family crisis, in difficult situations, etc., etc., are we intercessing on their behalf? The church is the body of believers, and we must cry out to God on behalf of those we know in need. Peter's life was spared in this story. Whose life are we praying for today? Now, if you go on and read the rest of the chapter, like I hope uh, all of us have done, you'll see that uh, Peter was miraculous, miraculously spared uh, out of this jail cell because the church was fervently, earnestly, praying for him, crying out to God on Peter's behalf. Um, that's what we need to be doing. Here's my I, my implementation. The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. That's out of James 5, the second part of verse 16. Talk with God. Cry out on others' behalf. God's design is for us to communicate with him regularly and to bring our needs and burdens to him. Whose life will be impacted by our prayers. Here's my P, my prayer. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to talk with you directly. May our prayers be heard and answered, and may you receive all the glory and praise forever and ever. Are you like me, praying for the same people day in and day out? Um, don't ever give up. Uh, just because we don't see things happening, we don't see things on the outside happening. Things on the inside, I'm sure, are happening, and God's doing a mighty work. Um, don't give up. Um, you've got family members, loved ones, friends, associates that you've been praying for for years for salvation. Don't give up. Keep praying. Uh, God will answer in his time. Amen? Let me pray for us on our way out. Father, I do thank you for this reminder that um, we do need to pray, and we need to pray often. Uh, we need to pray specifically. I pray for those that are on our hearts those for salvation, those that have sickness, those that have different crises in their life. I pray that you just work through all of those uh, to bring about your glory and your will. Father, we do uh, lift up our spiritual leaders. We pray that you give them uh, wisdom and clarity and understanding as they lead uh, your flock of believers wherever they are. Father, we just uh, thank you and love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good day. See you tomorrow.